Here we are again with Mr. Chen's teachings, whereby we look at each question in detail, ensuring that education is our priority. Today we will be looking at Agricultural Science 2010 past paper, paper 1. Without further ado, let us get into the questions. Question number 1. A person whose job is to design, modify and maintain agricultural buildings and equipment as a career as a an engineer b an educator c a manager d a journalist the answer is a an engineer question number two which of the following is a regional agricultural institution a c b i b o a s c i d b d c a r d cardi the answer is d cardi of cardi stands for caribbean agricultural research and development institute of course regional basically speaks about the caribbean question number three a lack of rural infrastructure in an era could promote a rural to urban drift b urban to rural drift c environmental issues d interest in agriculture the answer is a rural to urban drift when there is a lack of infrastructure in an era then that's a disadvantage Advantage. Of course, the infrastructure they means the physical structures that makes our life easy. So, of course, you'll have persons moving from the rural areas because they are underdeveloped. Question number four. Item four refers to a pie chart below which shows land use in a certain Caribbean country. Approximately how much of the land is actually used for agriculture? A. 75%. B. 50%. C. 25%. D. 20%. The answer is C. 20%. 5%. Of course, agriculture is created by man. It's a man-made activity. So the man-made activities from the graph are pasture, sugarcane, cotton, coffee, and citrus. Question number five. Which of the following can be classified as a fixed cost? A. Renting the land used. B. Preparing the land. C. Transporting fertilizers. D. Harvesting the crop. The answer is A, renting the land used. Uh, renting the land would be a contract. Then uh, once that contract is set, then the cost of that contract would, or in that agreement, would be fixed. Question number six. Which of the following may be the result of global warming? One, drought. Two, flooding. Three, dehydration and death of animals. A, one only. B, one and two only. C, two and three only. D, one, two and three. The answer is D, 1, 2, and 3. Of course, when there is global warming, the temperature, the overall atmospheric temperature will increase. And when that happens, of course, you'll have more moisture going into the atmosphere by transpiration and evaporation. Then when rain starts to fall, there will be a lot because of the increased rate of evaporation and transpiration. Question number 7. In food safety, the abbreviation GMP stands for A. Good marketing practices B. Good manufacturing practices C. Gross marginal products D. Gross marketing products The answer is B. Good manufacturing practices Question number 8. Which of the following are principles governing organic farming? 1. Use of crop rotation. 2. Environmental friendly practices. 3. Maintenance of soil fertility. 4. Use of toxic chemicals. A. 1 and 2 only. B. 3 and 4 only. C. 1, 2 and 3 only. D. 2, 3 and 4. The answer is C. 1, 2 and 3 only. Question number 9. The economic function which satisfies the wants of people is A. Marketing. B. Production. C. Consumption. D. Management. The answer is A. Marketing. The marketing department basically relates directly with the consumers. Question number 10. A graduate from your school wants to start a bridal project. He can obtain a loan from the A. Agricultural Credit Union B, Royal Trade Organization C, University of the West Indies D, Food and Agriculture Organization. The answer is A, Agricultural Credit Union. Question number 11. Item 11 refers to the following diagram. The graph shows likely represents the A, Law of Supply, B, Law of Demand, C, Food Conversion Ratio, D, Law of Diminishing Returns. The answer is D, Law of Diminishing Returns. And of course, when representing on a graph, the output will be on the vertical line and the input would be on the horizontal line. Now remember that the Law of Diminishing Return is when input is added to a business in increasing amount of just one item. 
what will happen is that the output will increase up to a level then it will start to decrease as you can see the curve there's a curve on the graph where you see that the output increases then it starts to decrease question number 12 the point at which the demand curve intersects the supply curve indicates the a selling price b equilibrium price c break even point d point of profit maximization the answer is c break even point Question number 13. Biodiversity refers to the A. Sum of all the species in a habitat. B. Size of the species in different habitats. C. Height of all the species in a habitat. D. Weight of all of the species in different habitats. The answer is A. Sum of all the species in a habitat. Question number 14. Which of the following is not required when applying for a loan? A. Budget. B. Collateral. C. Subsidies. D. Proposal. The answer is C. Subsidy. Of course, the subsidy is a grant from the government. Question number 15. The use of living agents, for example, natural or man-made pathogens to attack people and animals is known as A. Biology B. Bioterrorism C. Bioengineering D. Biotechnology Answer is B. Bioterrorism Question number 16. When farmers are paid a guaranteed price for their produce, whether there is a decrease or increase in supply, this is known as A. Tariffs B. Tax incentives c tax exemptions d price support the answer is d price support question number 17 farmer joe reared his second batch of 200 barrel chick he made a loss for the second time and did not know why he needed to a do a different kind of business b rear fewer chickens than the first time c keep records so he could identify weaknesses d rear more chickens than the first time the answer is c keep records so he could identify weaknesses Question number 18. Which of the following should be included in a costing of the variable expenses of a Braille project? A. Feed, medication, and labor. B. Pens, waters, and feeders. C. Plucking machine and bioinjector. D. Birds, feed, and pens. The answer is A. Feed, medication, and labor. Of course, the equipments, all equipments would be a fixed expense. Question number 19. Which of the following ways can a cooperative benefit a farmer? 1. Cheaper transport cost. 2. Reduced cost of inputs. 3. Better bargaining power with government. A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 2 and 3 only. D. 1, 2 and 3. The answer is B. 1 and 3 only. Of course, the cooperative members, they are not in control of inputs. Question number 20. A complete budget is prepared. A. After selling produce. B. Before claiming subsidies. C. Before starting an enterprise. D. When adding a new enterprise. The answer is C. Before starting an enterprise. Question number 21. Which of the following is composed mainly of organic material? A. Silt. B. Clay. C. Sand. D. Humus. The answer is D. Humus. The humus is a um, decomposition of dead plants and animals. Question number 22. Item 22 refers to the following diagram of a typical soil profile. A farmer wants to improve the structure of his soil which horizons should be plow a one only b one and two only c one two and three only d one two three and four the answer is c one two and three only of course you want to break these three layers of course breaking the hard pan which is in horizon b you want to break the hard pan which is a cement of nutrients so you want to bring those nutrients to the surface of the soil and create more drainage in that area Question number 23. What is the function of bacteria in the carbon cycle? A. Combustion of fossils. B. Assist with photosynthesis. C. Release of oxygen in the, into the air. D. Decomposition of organic matter. The answer is D. Decomposition of organic matter. When carbon dioxide is removed from the atmosphere by plants, the carbon dioxide is reintroduced into the atmosphere when the bacteria and other microbes decompose the dead plants. Question number 23. 24. Which of the following plants is not usually propagated by either grafting or budding? A. Banana. B. Mango. C. Avocado. D. Grapefruit. The answer is A. Banana. Question number 25. The site for a rain gauge must be 1. Under a shed. 2. In an open area. 3. Above ground level. A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 2 and 3 only. D. 1, 2 and 3. The best answer is C. 2 and 3 only. Question number 25. 
26. Burning as a form of land clearing is not advisable because it A. Leaves the soil black, B. Breaks down soil texture, C. Removes nutrients from the soil, D. Increases atmospheric temperature. The answer is B. Breaks down soil texture. Of course, when organic matter is destroyed or burnt, then the amount of organic matter in the soil will decrease. Question number 27. The purpose of the furrow wheel on a disc plow is to A. Compress the soil in the furrow B. Give the plow independent suspension C. Allow the plow to ride over the obstructions in the soil D. Stabilize the plow so that it maintains course The answer is D. Stabilize the plow so that it maintains course Question number 28 Which of the following structures regulate water lost? in a leaf a stomato b guard cells c epithelial cells d mesophyll cells the answer is b guard cells question number 29 an advantage of sexual reproduction in plants is a elimination of polyembryony b immunity to pests and diseases c variation and adaptability of plants d speed and ease of replication of plants the answer is c variation and adaptability of plants sexual reproduction always results in variation of plants and animals sexual reproduction always results in variation of new plants and animals question number 30 which of the following is the best sequence in a four crop rotation a lettuce b booty beans spinach pigeon peas b booty beans pigeon peas spinach lettuce c pigeon peas lettuce spinach booty beans d spinach lettuce pigeon peas booty beans the answer is a lettuce booty beans spinach pigeon peas when doing crop rotation, you will always want to plant your leaf crops after your beans or legumes. Um, also, you would not want to plant two of the same type of crop, one behind each other. Question number 31. Food produced during photosynthesis moves from the leaf to other parts of the plant by a process called A. Absorption B. Respiration C. Translocation D. Transpiration The answer is C. Translocation The movement of any substance in a plant is called translocation once it's within the plant. Question number 32. The part of a sweet potato which is harvested is the A. Bulb B. Fruit C. Tuber D. Flower the answer is C, tuba. Of course, the sweet potato is a root tuba. Question number 33. Genes are arranged in order along the A, DNA, B, gametes, C, genotype, D, chromosomes. The answer is D, chromosomes. Question number 34. If tallness is dominant to shortness, what will be the possible genotype of the offspring of a dominant homozygous and dominant and recessive homozygous cross? A, all dominant homozygous b all dominant heterozygous c of dominant and of of dominant and of recessive d of recessive and of heterozygous the answer is b all heterozygous question number 35 the most appropriate tool for pruning tomato plants is a o b a knife c shears d secateur the answer is d secateur question number 36 farmer can observe his tomato crops turning yellow he uprooted a few and saw root nuts this is a sign of infestation by a virus b fungus c bacteria d nematodes the answer is d nematodes question number 37 for which of the following reasons is a farmer most likely to operate his farm without machines? 1. The farm is located on a steep terrain. 2. The size of the farm is too small for mechanization. 3. It is cheaper to do large-scale production with manual labor. A. 1 and 2 only. B. 2 and 3 only. C. 2 and 4 only. D. 3 and 4 only. The answer is A. 1 and 2 only. Question number 38. A selective herbicide destroys A. Flowering weeds. B. All types of weeds. C. The chlorophyll in leaves. D. Some plants but has no effect on others. The answer is D. Some plants but has no effect on others. So the selective herbicides, they are designed to kill some plants. Only some plants they can kill. Question number 39. Which of the following indicates the correct sequence of harvest and post-harvest operations? A. Harvest, then package, then clean, then grade. B. Harvest then clean then grade then package c package then grade then harvest then clean d clean then package then harvest then grade the answer is b harvest then clean then grade then package question number 40 which of the following techniques are used in processing tomatoes one chilling two drying three canning 
A, 1 and 2 only B, 1 and 3 only C, 2 and 3 only D, 1, 2 and 3. The answer is B, 1 and 3 only. Question number 41. In the digestive system of a bird, which part stores food immediately after swallowing? A, crop, B, gizzard, C, proventriculus, D, small intestine. The answer is A, crop. Question number 42. Item 42 refers to the following diagram. What is the outcome at I? A. Reduction in surf life. B. Death of bacteria. C. Improvement in flavor. D. Reduction in butter fat content. The answer is B. Death of bacteria. Please note the temperature there. So the temperature there shows you that pasteurization is the process. And during that process, bacteria are killed. Question number 43. Which section of the ruminant's stomach is the largest? A. Rumen. B. Omesum, C. Reticulum, D. Obomesum. The answer is A. Rumen. Question number 44. In which part of the following parts of the rabbit's digestive system does most cellulose digestion take place? A. Colon, B. Cecum, C. Stomach, D. Small intestine. The answer is B. Cecum. Question number 45. Which of the following groups of feedstuff supplies animal with mainly carbohydrates? A. Soya bean, acacia, kudzu, glycidia. B. Fish meal, bagias, rice bran, corn. C. Coconut meal, cocoa meal, fish meal, citrus meal. D. Broken rice, wheat medlin, brewer's grain, molasses. The answer is D. Broken rice, wheat medlins, brewer's grain, molasses. Please remember that soya bean, fish meals, and those are high in protein. Question number 46. Item 46 refers to the following representation of a grazing system. The, the management practice illustrated above demonstrates A. Zero grazing, B. Silical grazing, C. Rotational grazing, and B. Continuous grazing. The answer is C. Rotational grazing. Question number 47. Forage grasses are cut and left in the field to dry. This is one stage in the making of A. A. B. Silent, C. Herbage, D. Concentrate. The answer is A. A. Remember that um, for silage, you store them while they have their moisture content so they can be decomposed. Question number 48. When citing an apron, it should be positioned A. Downwind of any building. B. Well away from any building. C. On the leeward side of any building. D. On the windward side of any building. The answer is B. Well away from any building. Question number 49. The equipment used to provide artificial eat to baby chick is a a. Brooder. B. Waterer. C. Candler. D. Feeder. The answer is A. Brooder. Question number 50. The queen excluder prevents the queen, the queen from A. Escaping the eye. B. Mating with the drone. C. Interacting with workers. D. Laying eggs in the honey cells. The answer is D. Laying eggs in the honey cells. So of course, you, you put on your queen excluder when it's honey season because you don't want them to go into the honey super. The queens to go in the honey super to lay the eggs. So the excluder have very small holes that only the workers can go through but not the queen. Question number 51. Which of the following is a true egg breed of poultry? A. Shaver. B. Peterson. C. White Leghorn. D. Vantress Cross. The answer is C. White Leghorn. Question number 52. A jersey is bred with a zebu. This type of breeding is A. Inbreeding. B. Line breeding. C. Back crossing D crossbreeding the answer is D crossbreeding question number 53 the length of the gestation period in rabbits is a 19 to 21 days B 29 to 31 days C 35 to 37 days D 40 to 42 days the answer is B 29 to 31 days question number 54 which of the following is a balanced ration? A. A feed which is given to young animals immediately after birth. B. Concentrate feed which has to be weighed and must be very exact. C. A high protein diet given to pregnant and lactating animals. D. A diet which contains all the food nutrients needed in the correct amount. The answer is D. A diet which contains all the food nutrients needed in the correct portions. Question number 55. Artificial insemination has become increasingly popular in the Caribbean in recent years because A. It ensures that conception takes place. B. Less trained technicians are now available. C. It is less costly way to upgrade local animals. D. Regional governments has been expanding the service. The answer is C. It is less costly way to upgrade local animals. Question number 56. Feather pecking in layer birds can be prevented by A. Candling B. D. Beaking C. Brooding D. Clutching. The answer is B. D. Beacon. Question number 57. Farmer Keith observed that his cows has the following symptoms. 1. A dull rough coat. 2. An offensive body odor. 
three excessive salivating. The farmer concluded that the animals were A, sick, B, healthy, C, restless, D, in eat. The answer is A, sick. Remember, when there's a rough coat, that's a sign that the animal has internal infestation, such as worms. Question number 58. Dead, discolored, foul-smelling larva in a hive are symptoms of A, blight, B, no simmer, C, fall brood, D, ant attack. The answer is C, fall brood. Question number 59. Which of the following is a breed of rabbit? A, Seinen, B, Flemish Giant, C, Vantress Cross, D, Jamaica, O. The answer is B, Flemish Giant. Question number 60. The main reason for grading eggs is to A, sort by size, B, test for fertility, C, put in egg crates, D, place into incubator. The best answer is A, sort by size. When you grade your eggs, you want to make sure they are all on the same size.